Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. Huyen Image 2 video model just released and it is pretty good. So as you can see here, uh, where I built this new pipeline with Huyen Image 2 video model. And so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to build this pipeline step by step on Kaggle for free and using Kaggle's um, free GPUs. So that being said, let's get started. And uh, if you go to Kaggle.com, create a notebook, first step is to change the default Kaggle working directory to Kaggle time directory because uh, the Kaggle time directory has uh, 70 gigs of free disk. Uh, the working directory doesn't have that much uh, space. So that's first step you have to do. Then we'll have to do a pip install uh, to install the Torch Vision, Torch Audio, and Torch uh, packages from the Nylon Build Coda 12.4 REPL. And then we'll have to uh, set up the Coffee UI uh, REPL. And after that, make sure you install all the Coffee UI dependencies. Uh, that's for the Coffee UI setup. After that, you have to uh, download uh, four things. The first thing you have to download is the GGUF model. So, uh, because we're not using the default uh, Huyu Video I2V model, instead we're using the GGUF model from the CD96 REPL. So you can see here, uh, they have a lot of quantized model. So the one that we're using in this tutorial is the Q5 uh, GGUF. So this actually has uh, better results than the Q4. So let's continue. And after you download the GGUF model, then you have to download the clip. So and we download the clip from the Comfy Anonymous uh, REPL. So you can just download the uh, clip L tensors model from this REPL. It's a small uh, model. And then uh, you have to download the uh, text encoder. Also, uh, we're going to download from the IBN, ABDEN REPL, not the default REPL. So again, it's GUF, so it's a lot smaller. So the original one is a lot bigger. And after that, you have to follow the click vision. It's very important. So uh, because you're using the image to video pipeline, so you have to download the clip vision instead of uh, just using the uh, text models. And you can see here, it's basically we're downloading from this uh, official Comfy UI, Holy Video Repackaged REPL. And the uh, vision model we're downloading is Lava Lama uh, 3 vision. So you can get this from the default uh, pipeline. Uh, so default pipeline is from the comfy anonymous.github.il. So you can go to this link and uh, go to the image to video section. There's a workflow here. And also the Lama, uh, Lava Lama 3 vision to save testers. You can download that model from here. So let's continue. And so the next thing you have to download is the VAE. So the VAE uh, we're using is from the uh, Kija. So you can download the VAE from this Kija uh, Kaijai or Huyun Video Conf UI REPL. So it's very famous REPL and uh, it's pretty good. Um, so just you can download the VAE from this REPL. It's not very big. So it's about like uh, only less than 400 megs. So let's continue. So after you download all these uh, different models, and uh, you can also choose to download upscale models. Uh, this is optional because um, you probably want to upscale the model to have better quality video. So if you want to do that, you can download upscale models. And you probably also need to uh, change the Comfy UI pipeline if you want to use the upscale. So we have another tutorial to show you how to run upscale uh, using the um, upscale models. Uh, it's from the Huyan Video GGF. And then this is for the text image. So it's a previous video and it is pretty good. If you want interested in the text video pipeline, feel free to check this video out. And let's go back to the Huyun Video Image to Video Pipeline. So after you download the um, models, then actually also download the custom nodes. So you have to download the GGF. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the models that we uh, downloaded is GGF. So make sure you download the custom nodes uh, Comfy UI GGF and also install all the dependencies. And also you have to install the Comfy UI Manager as best practice, because we're going to also install some of the custom nodes through the Comfy UI Manager. So it's, this is optional, but it's good to download it. And so you can actually um, modify the Comfy UI pipeline uh, the easy way. And after you download all the custom nodes, then make sure all these different paths exist and all the models are downloaded to specific paths. And then make sure you can install Ungrok, uh, 
or the local kernel. So in this tutorial, we're going to use the ungrok. So make sure you uninstall ungrok and pyungrok. After that, um, just create a function to run bash command within Python. Then you have to uh, use the ungrok token to enable ungrok. And then make sure you uh, using this uh, ungrok connect to connect ungrok public URL to localhost 8188, which is the config UI port. That being said, um, all the stuff is almost completed. Then the last step is to just go to this config UI folder, make sure to do the Python domain up here. This is how you spin up config UI on Kego for free. So that being said, let's continue with this config UI setup. After you set up everything in the Kego.com, then you can click this link. It'll give you a config UI link, which uh, is the one that you see already in this video. Then you can see this 9090, uh, 99E4. So this is a 99E4. So this is running. And so the first thing you have changed uh, for this Comfy UI. So by the way, this is actually downloaded from the offshore uh, Comfy UI repo uh, from here, workflow in JSON format. You want to download this workflow and then upload it to Comfy UI. So, but there are a few uh, little things we have to change uh, to make it work with the GUF model. So first thing you have to change is this dual clip loader. So make sure you use the GUF version, not the normal version, because uh, it doesn't support the GGF, so you have to use the GGF version. Then uh, you have to uh, make sure that the clip name is clip underscore L, and also the uh, clip two is the lava nama free AB text encoder. And also make sure the type is Hawaiian video. And then uh, you have to change the unit loader also to GGF and make sure the model is the one that you downloaded. So in this case, we downloaded the GGF uh, Q5 version. So make sure you uh, switch the version that you downloaded. And that is it. So basically, um, all these uh, models are uh, configured, but you also have to update a few other things in this uh, pipeline. So the first thing you have to update is the Hongyuan uh, image to video configuration. So you have to adjust the width and height, make sure it's um, small. Uh, if it's big width and height, the generation speed is very slow. Uh, 256 is pretty good. I think it's uh, gonna speed up the generation a lot. And then if you want to upscale it, you can also upscale it using a different uh, sub pipeline. You can uh, also reference to the methods that's documented in the Huyo video GF video in here. So let's go back to the Comfy UI canvas. Then the second thing you want to update is these um, steps. So you can see basic schedule to make sure the steps are uh, 30. Uh, 20 is fine, um, but 30 is better. So you might want to adjust the steps so it may makes better videos. And then uh, you also have to adjust the VAE decode because if you uh, use the original one, it might be uh, having an auto memory problem. Uh, so make sure you change the file size to 128, uh, overlap to 32. The temporal size is 32 and temporal overlap is four. So as they all mentioned here, you might be able to, uh, it should be, uh, adjust this if you have a memory problem so and if you want to change this um, video generation uh, component uh, so which the default is by p but if you want a better video format uh, then you might need to uh, install the video helper so to go to manager and basically uh, use the customer notes manager and then you have to search for the video helper and then uh, make sure you install this one and then uh, you can have better video format and other uh, generation parameters. You can config uh, if you uh, want better uh, video. Uh, so that should be it. So then uh, if you want, as I mentioned earlier, to upscale it, or uh, you just have to uh, create a pipeline, sub pipeline to upscale uh, the video and add it uh, in the uh, VA decode component. And that should be it. And then uh, just click Q cool, and they should be able to ready to go. And then uh, you can try the prompt in here. So this is basically a prompt. So as you can see here, so the video is okay. Um, um, I think if you have more steps that could have better quality. Um, and then um, the thing is, uh, you also have to adjust the width and height. And then you can see here is a small image uh, or smaller size of video. Um, if you um, want to increase the 
video length you can also update the length in here so the default i think is almost 61 second you can adjust that to maybe two seconds or five seconds depending on what you want to do so that being said uh hopefully this is helpful and if you like this video please subscribe like or comment if you have any questions thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one